Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to get teams outlook and sharepoint licenses for free let's go to the office 365 tenant and this is my new tenant here uh, it does not have any license on it it is recently been created and as you can see here uh, if i go under billing and your licenses or licenses it will show us that there is no license on this tenant so if your tenant does not have any teams license on it uh, then it qualifies for teams free license so we basically have to search for microsoft teams free and the first link should be the link uh, you can con compare the url from the top which you see on the screen so to confirm you are at the right place plus you can see the option sign up for free this is the option which we have to click and then it will ask for the email address if you are not signed in already and as you can see it is checking whether i have teams on my organization or not and as we checked earlier we don't have any license on the tenant so we'll hit sign in and uh, now it is trying to open the microsoft teams which is installed onto the computer i have it there that is the reason it was giving me that prompt but if you don't you can go ahead and download the app as well or you can use the team web app instead and check the behavior if it works that way or not and if it does not then we'll have to install the application and follow the same which we see on the screen and as you can see it is a fresh install and the startup for the team's application so it can take some time but we'll follow uh, the next step uh, if it asks for the sign in We'll go ahead and sign in with the email address and password of the tenant which does not have a team's license there you go so we'll sign in with the same tenant where we checked we don't have any team's license and then hit sign in and then it will check and will give us a team's free license This process can take some time, I have fast forwarded it a little bit but you can uh, wait for it to load the screen and uh, wait for it to do its task in the background and do not close the team app in between. And there you go, so it has been loaded and as you can see the account here it's the same account uh, where we don't had any license for teams or any other license and uh, now we have teams on this license and we can complete the initial setups here or close the screen and if we go back to the tenant uh, we will see a license there which is teams free also named as teams exploratory and if we refresh we should see it here and there you go so we get 100 license for teams free exploratory license it basically contains a teams and a sharepoint license plus your outlook license as well all for free And if we go to the users and licenses and app and if we check the apps section what are included we can see that it has exchange online plan one which is the outlook and we have microsoft teams plus we have sharepoint plan one as well here so all of them has been combined together and included in the free teams license and we can go ahead and use all the services uh, till the time it is available on the tenant so do let me know guys if you have any question about it any doubt you can drop it in the comment section and you guys have a nice day bye bye take care